Hey guys, welcome to Sahana's study table, where you can become a genius. This is the place we study together. Today, we're going to be learning about dun 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 liquids. Anyways, a liquid is a state of matter that has molecules that are really close together, but they can still move. And examples of liquids are water, juice, milk, oil, gasoline, and mercury. The element, not the planet. Mercury, the planet, is not even a liquid. Oh my gosh. And this is how the molecules in a liquid are arranged. Very not neat. Number one. What are the properties of all liquids? A. Fixed volume and fixed shape. B. Fixed volume and fixed shape. C. Fixed volume and no fixed shape. D. All of above. Remember, this is for all liquids. Did you get the answer? Good. The answer is C. Fixed volume and no fixed shape. A liquid always has a fixed volume. But if you take a liquid and pour it in different containers, the shape will change. Number two, the density of a liquid depends on A, temperature and pressure, B, color and shape, C, mass and length, D, mass and how compressed the molecules are. Uh, I don't know this answer. Mr. Answer, come on out. Number A, temperature and pressure. Density is how much space the object takes up. A liquid's density mainly depends on temperature and pressure of the liquid. Okay, that's nice to know. I learned something new today. Number three. The particles in a liquid are organized in a regular pattern called A. Crystalline structure B. Non-crystalline structure C. Pizza D. Crystallistic organization Wait, 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 wait. I think I know this one. Yeah, I do, I do. The answer is B, non-crystalline structure. Is this correct? Yes, it is. The answer is B, non-crystalline structure. And this is how the molecules in a non-crystalline structure are organized, just like the ones in the liquid. Number four, what is the most expensive liquid? A. Oxygen, B. Cestium, C. Lion venom, D. Scorpion venom. Oh my gosh. I don't like where this is going. Uh, anyways, come on out, answer. Number D. Scorpion venom. I knew it. I don't like the venomous stuff. Ew. Scorpion venom is the most expensive liquid in the world. It costs $39 million per gallon? And scorpion venom is very dangerous. That's self-explanatory because it's scorpion venom. Number five. What is the most densest liquid? A. Water. B. Diamond. C. Zinc. D. Mercury. Um, I think it's either A, C, or D because... Diamond is not a liquid, but anyways, let's see the answer. It's D, mercury. Mercury is the densest liquid at standard conditions. Also called quicksilver, mercury has been known for more than 3,500 years. It is an important metal in industry, but it's toxic. Okay. What? What is this? Oh yeah, right. This is the review part of the quiz, I guess. Anyways, let's look at this diagram. We've been looking at this a lot. Solid to gas is sublimation. Gas to liquid is condensation. Liquid to solid is freezing. Solid to liquid is melting. Liquid to gas is boiling. And gas to solid is deposition. Anyways, now the review quiz. Number six, what is boiling? A, solid to liquid. B, liquid to solid. C, 
Liquid to gas? D. All of the above. Oh my gosh. Mr. Diagram, come on out. There we go. Boiling, boiling, boiling. There it is. Liquid to gas. And the, is that the answer? Yes, it is. The answer is C. Liquid to gas. Number seven. What is freezing? A. Liquid to gas. B. Liquid to solid. C. Solid to gas. D. All of above. Uh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, never mind. Mr. Helper diagram, come out. Freezing. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There we go. Freezing right here. Liquid to solid. And that is the answer. Number eight. What is condensation? A. Oh, this is my favorite one. A. Gas to liquid. B. Gas to solid. C. Solid to gas. D. All of above. I know this one because, well, it's my favorite one. Anyways, the diagram. Condensation's right here, and that is gas to liquid. And that's the answer. Number nine. What energy is produced during the process of boiling? A. Kinetic energy. B. Potential energy. C. Kinetic and potential. D. Nothing. Wow. Anyways, let's go for the answer. The answer is C. Kinetic and potential. The kinetic energy of particles increases until the liquid reaches its boiling point. At the boiling point, the potential energy of particles begins increasing. Okay. Number 10. Is freezing a physical change or chemical change? A. Physical change. B. Chemical change. C. Physical and chemical. D. Nothing. Okay, you know what? You try to figure out the answer on this one. Did you get the answer? Nice. The answer is... A. Physical change. During freezing, the chemicals stay the same. Only the form, solid to liquid, and the outer look changes. Okay, so it is physical change. Thank you for watching this video, and remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon.